So today um, we had a mass meeting, which we borrowed it from the Montgomery bus, bus boycott from 1955. It's where the community came together um, with community leaders from inside and outside of Montgomery to um, effectively make change in 1955. So we felt that we needed to bring the community together again and just keep having these conversations, these open dialogues as a community. Like the talk about like the biggest conversations, kind of that you're able to talk about about what y'all want to see the future of Decatur. So we you, one of the major things that we talked about tonight was the public service public safety advisory council and that will replace our current citizens review board which would give the power of this board over to the city council and to the community and take it out of the hands of Chief Ty Pinion and the Decatur Police Department. Can you talk about how y'all want to request or you want to Department of Justice to come in, investigate DPD. Um, yeah, after the all of the events that have been happening since September 29th and before, we can see that Decatur is a rogue department and the leadership of that department is lacking. So we need oversight further than our mayor, further than the state of Alabama because with the Aaliyah investigation there were leaks in that investigation. So we feel as though the Department of Justice is the only way that we can get true accountability and transparency for the murder of Stephen Perkins. What do you think is going to be the biggest hurdle when you when taking a, when taking this to city council? Um, I feel that the biggest hurdle will be the fact that the city council as well as the mayor has done nothing since September 29th and they have been ineffective overall. Um, so my biggest fear is that they will continue to do what they have been doing and that's nothing. Is there any sort of um, tactic or method you guys want to use to you know I guess convince the city council to help you guys out with this you know this is where this is where we play politics you know we have to be smarter we have to work smarter not harder um, what we're doing is just making sure that we keep pressure on the Decatur City Council um, councilmen individually and collectively to until we achieve our goal she just talked about hurdles how do you guys keep going with the momentum even though you guys are facing hurdles uh, in this process um, you just have to continue to put one foot in front of the other. Um, we can't let um, the hurdles or the stumbling blocks stop us because that's why they were put in place was to stop us. So we just have to keep our head up, keep our nose to the grindstone and make sure that we continue to work as a community to move the ball forward. Right, past this meeting, uh, what do you guys have to do next? <laughs> More protests, uh, coming to the council meetings, voicing our opinion. Uh, really laying this plan out to our uh, city and our constituents and um, to our uh, council. You talked about keep coming to the meetings. Why is it so important to keep putting this in front of the city council? Well, you can't let anyone take your voice. And I feel like that you should uh, voice your opinion and let the council, because we voted them in, and I think that they should uh, hear, hear our voices. Um, the gag order hearing is happening May 20th. Mm -hmm. um, Chief Pinion, 13 Decatur police officers, three Aaliyah investigators, Hunter Pepper, and uh, James Marquette. They're all going to be called to the stand and have to answer questions from Scott Anderson. Y'all's reaction to that, I mean, that's going to be huge. Well, I'll say this. Um if Chief Pinion uh, Department had anything to do with that leak, I think the council should just look at him and to, I think he should be gone that day. I think they should call a, a meeting and get rid of him. Run the question again. Um, so on May 20th, the gag order hearing, it's gonna be Todd Pinion, a bunch of police officers from Decatur Police Department, um, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, three of those investigators, Hunter Pepper and then Marquette. Mm -hmm. They're all going to have to be under oath and testify and answer Scott Anderson's questions about whatever he's going to ask, the gag order stuff, um, maybe the leaked body cam. How do you feel about that? I mean, that's going to be really big. Uh, I feel as though it's, it's opening the eyes of what's been going on in the state as well as the city for years, for generations, for decades, hundreds of years. The corruption that's, that's been allowed to take place um, has to stop and I feel like this case is going to be that one that kind of puts a hold on what police officers are doing across this state um, because Aaliyah is their helping hand and with those officers that were a part of Aaliyah being brought in it's going to shine a light and I hope that it brings the DOJ down even quicker. Do you guys plan on being present for that meeting? Yes we yes. will.